anyway, what's the first pasuk in Tehilim? Ashrei Aish, Asher Lo Alach, Ba'atzat Reshaim, Uvederef Chataim, Lo Amad, Ubemoshav Letzim, Lo Yashav. Three things. Three things. Did not follow the way of the Reshaim. Did not stood in the place of the Reshaim and did not sit with the Reshaim, meaning the Leitzim. Why David Amelech start his legendary book of Tehillim with this Pasuk? Because when you open your book, you have to make a very strong statement. You don't want to open with something that is not the best of yours. You have to start with the best to attract the people to continue to read. Why, what's so important about this verse? That's the secret to successful life. If you fulfill this pasuk, you will be righteous. If you don't, you'll be wicked. What does he actually say over there? You want to be a tzaddik? Live with the tzaddikim. Stick with the tzaddikim. Follow the tzaddikim. Invite only tzaddikim. Speak to only tzaddikim. Stay away from the wicked. Don't sit. Don't socialize with the wicked. Don't become friends with them. Don't sit and eat with them. Don't live with them in the same places. Definitely not as roommates. Stay away from them. If you will be with them and you mingle with them, you will be one of them. And you will end where they end in the next world. If you stick to the Bachurei Shiva, to Avrechim, to Rabbanim, to Bnei Torah, you move to ultra-Orthodox neighborhood, you daven with the Bachurei Shiva, you will be one of them. Soon or later, you can run away. Even the secular philosophers acknowledge this phenomena. When I was in school as a child, I remember my teacher said this, this sentence. Adam hu ha-totsar shel ha-sviva. 100% accurate. A person is a product of his environment. If you don't believe me, you can do an experiment. Take a Hasidish boy who was born today in Williamsburg. Send him to Harlem, to Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. That will send him to public school with all black kids, with the accent of Jamaica, the Caribbeans, or New York, you know, the accent of the black people. The things the black people love, the food they love, the music they love, the language they speak, the clothes they wear, all their culture. This Yoeli, the only thing Jewish about him after 18 years will be his name. Nothing in his behaving will be Jewish. He will be 100% a black person, even though his skin will be white. But he will speak like a black, eat like a black, talk like a black, sing like a black, and maybe he will be a very good athlete like the blacks are. Good basketball player or football player. They love sports, they're very good in it. Who would ever believe that Yoeli from Williamsburg, Hasid Satmerk, will turn into a star in the NBA? No one would believe. If he would go in Williamsburg, he won't even know how a ball look. Definitely won't know how to speak or to sing, or he won't know what McDonald is, obviously. On the other hand, take Mr. Jackson Jr., who was just born today in Harlem, and exchange him with Yoeli. Yoeli will be in Harlem, and Mr. Jackson will grow up by Satmer Hasidim in Williamsburg, or in Monroe, or in Monsi. Speak to him in Yiddish, eating a filter fish, eating, uh, you know, things the Hasidim love, Kugel, Yerushalmi Kugel, this Kugel, Chulent, Psha. What, will, what would he listen to? He would listen to all the Hasidish music. All of a sudden he's going to give you Yossel Rosenbaum, Hasidut. Oh! There's few blacks that work in a Hasidish shul for 20 years. You have to see how they sing in Yiddish. <laughs> I have few videos of them in the street. Hey, sing. Sings in Yiddish. How does he know Yiddish? 20 years, it was Hasidim. He is gefil fish. He listens to Mordechai ben David and all these singers. That's his life. Why? A person is a product of his environment. 
Whatever they raise you with, that's what you're going to be. You're going to be in the South, you're going to be a Southern man. You live in Manhattan, you're going to be a lefty liberal. All the garbage of the world you would love. That's what it is. It is what it is. The more educated your people, your parents would be, the more rotten you will be. It's a fact. You can argue as much as you want. It's a fact. Secular studies is cancer for the soul. It's not supposed to be this way. Really? There is a lot of secular studies that is positive, such as math, physics, medicine. It's a lot of good things. The problem is that in order for you to be a mathematician or a physician or a doctor or an engineer, which is all positive professions, you have to go through wicked heresy for five, six, seven, ten years and learn everything against God. You cannot be a kosher scientist anymore in the world. In Israel there's a video of about 10, 12 world-class scientists that became Baalei Tshuva. The best in the world. Most famous scientists. Discover God through their studies. One of them is a physicai le physica garinit. Nuclear. One of them won Nobel Prize winner for math. Nobel Prize winner. What's his name? Professor Oman. White beard, big yamaka. You have to see. Very impressive. The most academic in the world and fully religious. Not Modax. Fully religious. Modax you have plenty in the university. You know those with the leather yamaka. Usually they have a sort of specific style. They keep three, four mitzvot and everything else is secular. Ashkafa, beliefs, goish music, Hashem irachem. Sometimes I meet this kind of people in Israel. You have to sometimes daven with them, see what they talk about before and after. You see what they admire. Everything the opposite of Jewish Ashkafa. It's not their fault, that's the way they raised them. <laughs>